All right, finally, I think we are finally getting somewhere with the new lighting. So I'm gonna fly, wait, I gotta click on the thing. This is so smooth, here we go. Such a good live stream host. There we go, I'm gonna fly around so now you can see what the new lighting is starting to look like. I'm, it's not perfect yet, I'm still working on it, but I'm starting to get really happy with it. So how's it going everyone? My name's Eric Tereshinsky and you are watching the Master Indie YouTube channel. So, uh, yeah, I know um, uh, there's a few people in the comments saying that they really would like me to get back into gameplay because they don't care about lighting. But uh, rest assured, it is almost done. And uh, yeah, if I could go back in time, this would not take as long as it has. Like, that's the dang thing about uh, video game development is one like it, it's more it takes time searching for the answers. And like, if you already knew the answers for sure then you could go back in time and tell yourself exactly what to do and it would take not nearly as much time to complete. But anyways, uh, yeah, as you can see, let me full screen the scene view here. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed because I'm still drinking my coffee. I did not get enough sleep last night. So, uh, the trick ended up actually being uh, to combine a 3D custom modeled mesh of light rays covering the entire world. Actually here, let me give you a good view. If I actually click this light ray and then I change the color alpha and increase it, you can see what it would look like. So this is really what's going on here and I just changed the transparency down to be really, really faint. But yeah, you can see how these are like super 3D you can see them from really far away. The light rays are a little bit cartoonish and a little bit unrealistic and kind of retro and low poly, which I think matches the art style of the game. So that's really sweet. Um, but yeah, combining this technique and then just lowering the opacity to make it really, really subtle. Like right, yeah, this might be a little too much. Like, right, uh, somewhere around there. Something like that. I don't know. I'm probably going to, I mean, I'm definitely going to eventually make an option in the options menu. So people who prefer not to have this effect uh, can go ahead and just uh, have the game the way it was normally. But I have to say, I'm really starting to like this. There's a few weird visual glitches, like, why are there light rays coming out of the side of this mountain? Like, if you don't think about it too hard, it just looks kind of cool. But if you start to think about like how light works it's like wait that doesn't make any physical sense um so little things like that i think i'm gonna have to tweak over time and this is definitely a really really weird way of doing light rays and trying to make volumetric lighting look extra 3d um i ended up finding uh thanks to somebody on the discord channel they uh told me how to switch from stereo mode to single pass mode and that sort of made um aura 2 a little bit more 3d because it was a little bit more of a stereo effect but not to what i wanted i think adding this and combining it with aura 2 uh did the trick so you can see if i go here and i disable fog wait if i disable this so you can see what it looked like without aura 2 and even though you can still see the light rays it doesn't have like the same cool effect like it looks kind of cool but like you really need to have that lighting in there so if i turn that back on you can see the combination of the two really looks cool and atmospheric and yeah so that's pretty much it um i've been working on this for a while and i need to get this all ready to um get the main update from the testing branch and move it over to, to the default branch. That's what I've been working on for a little while. And, you know, I just wanted to get this visual update working correctly first. Speaking of which, uh, the lighting in the boss fight chambers is, uh, well, I guess I could, I could just like turn it off. I tried experimenting with having their eyes have volumetric lighting and it's really, really glitchy right now. So I'm going to probably have to delete that before I uh, upload this to Steam because it's just very, very broken looking. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's going in the right direction, I think. So yeah, I think it's time to uh, start f 
fixing some glitches, working on some gameplay, and just moving that update over. Make just making sure it's stable. Fix. There's a couple of visual glitches, like when you smash into a wall, the water disappears. So that's something I'm pretty sure I know what's wrong, and I gotta fix that. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much where things are now. I gotta upload this video so that I can. Um, do the live stream and uh, in like 30 minutes I gotta upload this quick so I guess uh, until my next video I will see you later let me go full screen and keep making games I just bumped the microphone oh well <laughs> see you guys